Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's my second video about December 23 feature drop to show you two features that were missing from my previous video which are night sight for time lapse and the enhanced portrait light in Google Photos. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with night sight for time lapse and this feature is only available for the Pixel 8 Pro. Let me show you how it works. So I'm going to open the camera app, go to video and then time lapse. When I swipe up to access the camera settings, now I have a night sight toggle to turn the feature on or off. And keep in mind, it only works automatically based on the amount of light you have in the scene. Then you have the resolutions, full HD and 4K. For the feature to work, the phone has to be mounted to a tripod, same as the astrophotography feature. So let me put it on the table as an example. And you will notice here that I'm getting a crescent icon on top of the shutter key, which is also similar to the astrophotography feature. And there are a couple of important things worth mentioning. When you change the speed of your time lapse manually by choosing any of these four options, the night sight feature will be disabled immediately, but you have to keep it on auto for you to use night sight like this. And the second thing is the 10 seconds video takes 20 minutes to be captured. So let me show you here a screenshot. It says at the top in this bubble, 10 second video requires 20 minutes of recording. So you need to be patient. And now let me show you the results I have. For the sake of comparison, I captured two videos with and without night sight. So let's start with the normal one. It was recorded on the beach at night, which is a very dark scene. In my opinion, it represents the scene accurately, but at the same time, you can barely see anything. Now let's switch to the night sight footage. And as you see, it's a day and night difference. Now I can see everything clearly and it managed to preserve all the details without a problem. But the only downside is the amount of grain in the shadows. So I hope video boost will also enhance that time lapse videos. I'm not sure if this is going to happen, but let's wait and see. Now let me show you a side by side comparison between the two videos to take a closer look. Now let's talk about the enhanced portrait light feature in Google Photos and this one is available for the Pixel 6 models and later. Now let me try this feature in one of the challenging photos I have. This portrait was captured at night and as you see there are a lot of shadows here on my face. So let's tap on edit and then go to portrait light under tools and it will automatically try to even the light uh, for you and as you see now we have two tabs the first one is called add light which is the same old feature we used to have that you can move it around but the new one here is called balance light which will automatically balance the light between the different sides of your face and here's the final result here's the before here's after and as you see here i have a slider at the bottom to tune things down to make it more realistic or if i like a more pleasing look I can dial it up and here's how the 100% looks I don't think anyone will ever uh, push it all the way to 100% I think up to 70% is the maximum to get a good result but after this it starts to be very artificial as you see here so I'm gonna keep it like 46 or 50% I think looks nice here's the before and here's the after. Let me also try it on one of the morning photos. In this scenario, the sun is hitting only one side of my face, keeping the other one extremely dark. Plus the t-shirt is also dark. So let's tap on edit. And then go to tools, portrait light. And here's the automatic results. If you take a look here, you will see that it managed to remove these shiny spots on my face because of the sun and now it looks a lot more even plus it did brighten up the left side in addition to the t-shirt is now brighter and looks more vibrant overall I'm extremely happy with the results coming out of this photo and I don't think I need to adjust anything but you still have the slider at the bottom to tune things the way you want and here's a side-by-side -side comparison for the night photo 
and here's the morning one. So I think that's pretty much it for today and I will do the same once I get the video boost feature on my 8 Pro. I will also create a lot of videos about this build because there are a lot of things to talk about which is impossible to include in one video. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.